As Judasil watched her very first musical, Inspiration Struck, little did she know this would lead to her biggest passion and a milestone in her life. I can remember I was feeling really excited because I've never seen a musical ever. That was the first time I've seen a musical. And you know how your eyes just get so like big, like you're just amazed at what's going on. The dancers and everyone, it just makes me feel so inspired and hopefully like I want to be that person I want to be this um, this dancer on stage but with every spotlit stage there are dark corners of the theater where the majority of a performance time is spent this was the loneliness Judas L faced as she moved 300 miles away from home to pursue her dreams I felt so lonely <laughs> eating dinner with my family and I wasn't used to uh, being lonely I wasn't used to um, my family not being there telling me hey come it's dinner time <laughs> forming my duties definitely made me not just closer to my family but closer to God it made me forget about being lonely with only a handful of weeks remaining after the talent search and auditions Members of the production still have to juggle their everyday lives. Jason, the director, anticipates the upcoming necessary preparations in order to make the celebration grand. Judas and Aya, some of the lead choreographers, prepare for their graduation and final exams. When I first found out that there's going to be a musical for the 50 years in the West in the United Kingdom, I felt so eager to just do something. I was just so excited because, oh my goodness, it's um, a musical for the 50 years in the West. That's a big celebration. When I found out that I was going to share the stage with my family, of course, I felt thankful. And my, all the more I felt strengthened because not only will I share the stage with my family, I will share the stage with them and feel God's love on stage with them. First impression was shock. I felt a bit scared. Why did didn't you say no? Immediately, I just thought about the lessons that were being taught to us, that we should never turn down a duty when we're being approached. The ministers, they encouraged me to do it and continue on, and they reassured me that, you know, I'd always have support from them and the brethren. In those practices, it will get so tiring because you're constantly dancing, you're constantly being told to go this, to go there, repeat it. You would be sweating, you'd be so tiring. But I w there's a side of me where I'm like, I'm really tired, can you just stop? But then again, I have a thought to myself and say it's all going to be worth it in the end and that this is all for God. We were just like performing or doing the task blindly. You're just going into it free falling with no education, no um, minimal knowledge. It wasn't normal. Everything was hectic. Everyone was all over the place. That's just that's just part of it. God, you know, he 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 makes that happen so that as an individual, it makes you um, realize and put your trust more in God. It made me feel so amazed at how it different it was from the first rehearsal. Through the guidance of the ministers and the words of God that they taught us, it helped us to stay on the right direction. 
everyone seemed so emotional but so happy that they are able to be on that stage. The 50th mean so much to me because it made me contemplate of how much I have grown as a person and through faith. I was showcasing my talent, giving praises to God through that talent and also edifying brethren. To witness the church's glory at that moment manifested through that production was just a great feeling. Like seeing the brethren's faces, you know, smiles and the shouts of joy was just phenomenal. God really does, if you put your trust in him, like he really will do his work. That moment was a moment of blessing and guidance and prayers answered. It's a time to look back on the many achievements that the church has managed to do and we should be proud of the achievements that we have managed and to look forward to the, the many more challenges that still lie ahead for us and also that the time of our salvation is ever coming closest. Speechless. <laughs> it was, oh, it was beautiful, powerful. You can, you can just feel it all around, the spirits there. You forget the crowds there when you know you're doing for the right purpose. A prayer was my favorite song to perform. You can really feel um, God's presence praying to God is one of the most important um, things that I do in my everyday life. My favorite line of the song is, help me, make me worthy as I wait. Yeah, because, yes, um, I need help, and but I also need to change something within me to be worthy of that blessing. Yeah. And I will wait, I'll be patient, Whenever you want to answer this prayer of mine, I will wait because I know that someday I'll receive that blessing and I'll be thankful for it. This other part of the song where it says, give me patience, giving you the patience for God to act. I think that's a really big part of my life because if I didn't pray to God continuously, to help me, I think I would have been where I am today. When I go through the same thing in the future, I'll always look back in that moment and be like, why, why am I feeling down when I experienced this before and the result was God was always with me. When they say to put complete trust in God, you know, it manifested um, through the whole journey from being assigned the one of the biggest roles. I couldn't have learnt the dances or even made it on the day safely without God. So as the confetti blew up, I really couldn't stop smiling because all the hard work had paid off. There were tears here and there. All the tiredness was gone. All you felt was pure happiness. As you get older, you get to you experience a lot. You even experience a lot of painful things. But everything is God's plan. He's preparing you for many more um, things that you can go through. You get through a lot of things and sometimes you want to give up, but God will always be there for you. Everything is His plan.